about something that Cher Williams said, and she said, let's see, let's read it, let's read it. Let's make it bigger so I can actually read it. I have a problem calling myself a god because I think of God as the creator of all beings. I'm going to assume we can't create another soul, right? I don't doubt for a second we are magnificent creators of experience, though. Is the reluctance to refer to myself as a god low vibration? No, it's not low vibration. Eh? It's uh, it's not like that. It's um, a bet you need to have a better understanding of what I mean whenever I say God. In the first place. In the first place, there's no such thing as time and space. So, creating a being implies there was a beginning to a new being and an end to a new being. That can't happen because all beings are part of all and they've always been and they always will be and there's no such thing as time and space. Okay, given that, I'm going to use things that are time and space to describe what I'm talking about here. And I'm going to use an analogy, okay? No, you cannot create a soul. But there is no God that creates a soul ever, ever. So this is what happens. This is what happened with creating this whole game. There is a entity out there just like you. And let's say that they go over there and there's a, there's a, a city block lot. And it's empty. There's nothing on it at all. Okay? Now... What happens is there's a person that owns that lot, and they have an idea in their head, and they say, okay, I'm going to build this giant skyscraper on this lot, okay? And they say, okay, well, I own this lot, but I don't know how to build anything, so I'm going to call an architect. So they call an architect, and the architects, and the, the owner says, well, this is kind of what I had in mind. And the architect says, okay, I've got that, and the architect draws it. Puts all the plans in the and the one that came up with the idea of on this lot to build this building says, yeah, I really like that. The architect, you did a great job. Now, the architect doesn't know how to build anything. He draws, draws things. So then the two of them get together and they say, okay, let's go find a builder. And they go get a construction company and they bring in the construction company. And the construction company looks at the, at the, at the design and says, okay... Um, I can do that. And they bring in some more drawing people, some draft people, and they write it. They draw out things like wiring and and plumbing and exactly what kind of wood goes where and what 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 everything every all the lines go where and what kind of beams to use to make sure that it's doesn't fall down. And they have somebody write all that up. And that's a completely different person. And then they go, well, but it's in a city, and we've got to get approval from those around us. So they bring in an inspector, and the inspector looks at the plans, and they go, okay, we, I like those plans. Now all these people were involved, but nothing has been built at all. Now we get to the point where they bring in, and they say, okay, we're ready to build. And they bring in truckloads of, of other things, like wood and metal and nails and glass, and, and they bring in people that know how to work it. And, and build with those particular things. And they bring in electricians that actually run the lines. And they bring in plumbers that actually plumb the lines. And when it's all over, they step back and there's a building. So who built the building? Who's the God that created that building? Well, all of those people were gods and they created that building. And nobody brought anything, No crea nobody created anything new in that process. All of the things that are in that building were here on this planet all along. They just took it and made it look different. That's what they did. They look, made it look different. And now all of that stuff that was already on the planet, with people that were already on the planet, nothing new was created, but yet stuff was taken and made it to look different so that people could go in and experience this beautiful skyscraper. And they can have offices in there, and they can have homes in there. And they have a whole new experience because it's the tallest skyscraper in the city. You see? Do you get my analogy here? That's the kind of God you are. You come up with an idea, and you can do any of those, any of those jobs I described. 
out there in the game land, outside this game, you could be the one that comes up with the the one that gets the, the little area and comes up with an idea. You can be the architect. You can be the construction guy. You can be the one that actually hammers the wood into the walls. You can be any part of this creationary process that you want to be. And out there, you will find that there are aspects of that creationary process that you prefer. Now, all of us have created games much bigger than this game. This is actually a pretty small game. It's an intense game, but it's pretty small when it comes to games that we create. And you all have created many, many games. You just don't realize it. And then you also have played roles in other people's games. And what you'll find is you prefer, not that you can't do all of it, you can do all of it. You can get all of the parts anytime you want. You could do any part of it because you're a god. But you will, each one of us, tends towards things that we prefer. And we go to those and we do those over more often than we do the other roles. But because we can do any role, when a friend calls and says, hey, will you come do this role in this one? We go, yes or no. Yes or no. So even though I don't prefer this part of the game, when Gaia called, because I'm a friend of hers, I said, yeah, I'll come play this role. It's not my preference. I don't prefer it. I do other things instead most of the time, but I came to help her. Anybody can do anything. So when you are a creator God in this scenario, what you do is you start decide, you start controlling what you want in your life. And that takes you to a timeline where other entities around you agree with you. So let's take the building thing now. And let's say you are, you're the creator. Now the difference is that that is not the only timeline that's available. And that's the only timeline where an aspect of you exists. So you can change your mind and say, oh, okay, I don't want to be the owner. I want to move to the timeline where I am the architect. Or I want to move to the timeline where I run the electrical, uh, the electrical actually in the building. You can change what role you want. And that's what we're talking about, about being a, a creator God and getting your life a little bit better. As you've used, you've forgotten how to use the law of attraction. You don't understand how to do that properly. So you have been living your life because anybody that's listening to me is coming out of 3D. 3D was fear-based. They taught you... This is what you do every day. You go through life, and they've given you list after list after list of what to watch for. And you collect that data in your head. And you go, and then bad things happen to you, and that adds even more stuff to the list. So your head is just full of things that you've got to do, and you've got to watch for, and you've got to do right. And if you don't, bad things will happen. Well, Law of Attraction says, if that's what's running around in your head, guess what you draw more of? Bad things. Well, that just reinforces the fact that they were right. Here's bad things. I didn't watch for that one. Oh, my God, this is what happened to me. Got to add that to the list. Now I'm even more worried about bad things happen. I'm not going to be good enough. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Guess what? Law of attraction works. Bad things happen to you. And they get worse and worse and worse. In my case, until I died. Okay? So you have to understand that they're wrong. <laughs> that a long-term human can appear to be angry or fearful, but if you know vibrations like I know vibrations, they're not sending it out to the universe. They're like play acting. So instead of being really mad or really scared, most of the time they're acting mad or acting scared. Big difference with law of attraction. Big difference in how that goes out. If you're really scared, it will draw more really scary things into your life. If you're play acting scared, which is what they do, then there's nothing that goes out to the universe and nothing bounces back. They control exactly how much fear is into their life, how much experience they want in their life. It's absolutely fascinating to watch energetically. But for somebody like us, we are, what, whether you know it or not, star seeds, you are coming from outside this game. I'm not talking about 4D. I'm not talking about aliens and... Pleiades, I'm talking about outside 5D and up. I'm talking about all the way outside this game. And outside this game where there isn't any time or space, you are used to intending something, so to speak, and I'm going to have to use time and space because y'all don't, I can't use, there's no words for it. But you're used to 
intending something and it happens instantly. It's just done. There is no judgment. There is no, you would never do anything to hurt anybody because you know you wouldn't because you're part of the whole. Why in the world would you want to hurt somebody else when they are you? You are them. That's part of the amnesia down here where they can play the roles of good guys and bad guys for the contrast so they can have fun in the game. But for us, we're going, well, this makes no sense. You instinctively, you instinctively know that all of this is a part of you. So why would you compete against someone else? Why would you hurt someone else? And when they hurt you, it's confusing. And that's where the fear starts to grow. Because they do hurt you. In 3D, they absolutely did. Now, that we're coming out of that now. So the, the thing here now is to understand the game. Understand that that was all a part of the game. There's nobody to get mad at. That is the game. 3D was the game. It's contrast. It's good guys. It's bad guys. It's battling. It's competition. They set it up that way because they enjoy that game. You have no right to judge that game. They don't come out and judge yours when you're outside doing other things. We don't come in here and judge them. We're just helping Gaia get out. They'll, they'll stay and play all they want to. And you leave them alone. It's none of your business what another god does. If you want out, though, I'm telling you, you've got caught up in the 3D fear game, and to get out of it, now you're in 4D, you got to get rid of the fear, the worry, everything. Now you've got to get rid of the judge judgments and the fears to move out of this. And you can do it. You can do it. It can be done. Kind of wondered on this a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm going to stop now. Love you guys so much. Huge hugs. See you later.